Good morning, happy Friday, and welcome back to the No Full Life Show, where I, Sunita, along with my co-host Tracy, we hop on every Friday and talk about everything North Fork. Um, new backdrop, where am I? I am visiting family this week um, and traveling. My fam- my sister's visiting from India, and then I'm going to Florida for a whole week. And I've only been gone since yesterday, and I'm already starting to miss the North Fork. There is just so much going on on the North Fork. I can't believe we're almost in July. I think, you know, I don't know if it's tomorrow or if it's day after, but here we are. And I feel like so much happens during the 4th of July weekend that I'm having serious FOMO as much as I'm excited about being on vacation and going to Florida. Um, I kind of don't like to leave the North Fork in summer. So I hope all of you tag me and everything that's going on so I can live vicariously through all the um, the parade. I love the parade at South Hold um, and everything else that's happening on the 4th of July and the whole weekend long. Speaking of stuff going on, our guest today has so much going on. We have on, um, I don't know if you've been there, it's a beautiful um, architectural salvage um, yard. I don't know what else to call it, but I'm looking forward to John and Brooke being on and telling us all about what they're doing and their coffee shop and their salt, the residency that they have with the salting and the stuff that they're making. So I'm excited for all of that. Um, not sure where Tracy is. I know Tracy herself has been on vacation recently to Fire Island and is planning on going back. Um, soon. So I don't know if she's also in vacation mode. I also don't see our guest today. So who knows if it's my Wi-Fi um, or what, but we can keep talking about all the things that I've been up to until they join us. Um, I don't know if I had a chance to mention, but last week, um, because I'm on the board of Slow Food East End, and we held an event at a really neat farm in Jamesport. So I want to give a shout out to them, to both Slow Food East End and also to the farm. Um, The farm is called Golden Acres Organic. They've been there a long time. They used to be called Golden Earthworm Organic. Um, But I think the people that ran that farm moved, I believe, to Vermont or something. And some of the people that were part of the farm took over and have continued the farming. And it is an all organic farm with the most delicious, amazing produce. Um, I think they just started a CSA. So if you haven't been there, check it out. It's in Jamesport. And they have an event coming up that sounds really, really fun that again, I'm going to miss because I'm in Florida. Um, They are doing a silent disco night. And if you've never been to one or heard heard of one, it is the coolest concept. Um, it, in, it involves head, headsets and there's several different versions of music playing and everybody puts on headsets and then everybody dances and be slightly different from yours and I guess that's part of the fun I don't know but I would have loved to to be there but I'm gonna miss it okay good morning Tracy how are you good you know the baby. Sorry to like run past her to get out here. There we go. Good morning. Hi, Hi. for a whole half hour, you know. <laughs> All right. How's everyone doing? Okay, I, this is a new sit- setup for yeah. me, so I have to like figure out how I can be in the frame. Good morning, Tracy. How are you? So I was telling everybody, I, I think you're also going to miss the silent I, disco opportunity. I know. That I'm both so of us are so excited. But I. Yeah, want everybody you, to it, go so they can have it again in the fall. Um, it sounds really fun. So check out Golden Acres and see what's going on and go visit them. Yes. If you remember, I was going to start my own silent disco <laughs> pre-baby and never got around to it. So, yes. <laughs> we can go with the baby. I bet Tilly has the best dance moves, better than oh, you. Oh, she and does. You're pretty she, good. Does, she does this now. This is her dance move. It's so cute. <laughs> it is so cute. Brooke, you want to talk bro? about what, what Talk about lumber and salt, or you want to talk about dance moves? No. <laughs> I, I, whatever. I, I'm game for anything at this point in, uh, in our life. So, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. John has a client meeting this morning. He's not able to join us, but. um. Well, we're so happy to have you on, Brooke. Thank you. Um, tell, us, tell us the history of lumber and salt and and ha- and your your history of hand landing on the north fork 
So Lumber and Salt, um, John founded, you know, Lumber and Salt in 2014. Um, and, you know, during that time, um, we had uh, met, met and we were doing some um, creative work together on the retail side. Um, and, and, you know, Lumber and Salt became like a side hustle to me uh, because I felt so passionate about um, what John was doing at the time. And uh, I was in the city um, and the corporate retail world. And, uh, you know, in 2016, we started to like, get a little more with us. And then we started to do some design work um, together. And then, you know, fast forward, uh, COVID happened. And, uh, you know, it forced my hand to happily take on a full-time role. And uh, since 2020, we've really, we've really grown and developed into a, a pretty, a pretty um, diverse lifestyle brand, if you will. So the outpost to our, our store um, is fun because it has many spokes um, of what we do. Uh, creatively filling and uh, we've created a little a little vibe of our so. oh it's, it's more than a little I just want to say something are you using a, a airpods or something they're static Tracy Tracy do you feel yeah. it I, yeah I hear a delay a little bit of a delay uh, yeah I just I just want everybody to be able to hear what Brooke is saying because I want to hear everything <laughs> I know Okay, now she's spinning. Um, I was going to say, uh, Brooke said they created a little vibe. I'm like, we can remove the word little. I mean, lumber yes. and salt is a whole vibe in of itself. Yeah. So I want to I want to back up for our audience members who don't know what lumber and salt is prior to the expansion that you brought on. So just tell everybody a little bit about what lumber and salt is. Um, lumber and salt is a work lifestyle. And um, that, again, like many spokes of what we do, we are a creative for material, for, you know, architectural salvage. We're a great outpost for design. Um, lumber and salt really is, it is a vibe. Like, and I can't say it, you know, and we, we've created something that we like. And there's no right answer there, there's no wrong answer. It's just, um, you know, it's what John and I really gravitate towards. Um, there's a raw and refined design that we have uh, created that, you know, we can, you know, re repurpose things that have a past, but polish it into an environment that really feels polished and, uh, and, and refined. So, so Lumber and Salt is a store. It's a design hub. Mecca. It's um, a design it's mecca. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, and I, and I give a lot of that, um, Real quick to John. John is a wild buyer, and um, you know he doesn't buy one thing or two things. He buys two thousand of the same thing. But that's kind of what gives us an edge. Um, we're doing it because we love it, and uh, you know, and then the business just really built from there. So. so, so let's talk a minute about. So you buy a lot of architectural, older, vintage stuff, and then you recreate, repurpose them, reimagine them into new things, right? So you've done a lot of installations for lack of a better word for a lot of businesses here can you just talk a little bit about what you created in different places around the north fork yeah. um so it's funny you know we like I said, we, we we love what we do and therefore each of our clients um you know what when they have hired us there is really no overlap but product we bring forward and we do that very strategically so you know we we began a real journey, um, sort of like a showcase, you know, of sorts. We've in some way landed in the in the world, you know. So, you know, we did Rose Hill Vineyards from each of the things, uh, from Shin, um, an amazing, and we uh, just really, we really jived together. So Rose Hill is a signature salt project. Um, we just did the uh, Harbs Vineyard. You have to check that out. Completely different. Um, it's in a you know 1800s barn. Experience is very, very you know it feels very luxe and sexy in there. But in the potato barn, it's it, it, it makes sense. Um, 
we did Terra Vitae uh, in Jamesport, again, like in sort of undertone, but we brought forward a lot of really interesting, a little more like polished, um, you know, uh, the owner has a background, um, Greg Goodell, well, he, he owns Riverhead Supplies, so the back, back step counter of that project is an old hardware counter purpose but you would never know that so we do a lot of um sort of surprise surprises within each you know again that makes it signature to them and us um you know, chippies in southampton um which is an iconic staple you know, we really did some reclaimed um, structural piece and hero to them um we did minnow at the galley ho which is a total fun one uh you know uh andrea was great we had a lot of fun bringing her to life um, through, you know, the nostalgia she remembers when she was a was a kid. Um, so another, um, and you know, new newest off the bat, uh, just last week, uh, Maine and Mill House just opened, and and I have it is, I haven't had a chance to go, but I must say, just from the photos, it looks so stunning. Yeah, I, I can't wait to to be there in person. It's a real. Real, real beautiful space. Um, you know, it was the former Sherwood House. So our design intention was to create something brand new. Um, so we there, the brand of Rose Hill and Croteau. Uh, we brought a brand new vibe there. Um, and it feels very cool and it feels very polished and uh, lots of architectural uh, replacements. We really did it in another whole way that Lumber and Salt would have. And on that property, you know, is gallery and um, funded a lot of the art um, into that project. And then newest tonight, we're opening um, the salting in our barn. And uh, like it has a lot of um, hands and pots, but we keep it very cohesive. Because what our brand is is very, uh, it, it, it's very specific to what we do. So we don't want to overextend us, but we want to do what we do well. So 1291 Main Road is definitely a, a, a brand new. Um, and you're and you're having an opening today, right? Yeah. So people can stop by. That's from four to six, is it? It's four to seven. Um, four to seven. We'll be serving. Um, some light bites by Chef Lauren Lombardi, who we love. Uh, some main and mill um, wine. Um, the salting is a genderless um, luxury brand that we have the, the honor to be, you know, showing the collection in our barn. Um, you know, they just got back from Florence. They're the rising designers of. Uh, yeah. They're showing in Bergdorf. They're, they're showing in Jamesport. Very, again, like organic. Our build has been very organic and uh, genuine. And it's just all. I feel I, I, I have two thoughts. One, I feel like you should create a little map that you give out at Lumber and Salt that says, here's the tour, the Lumber and Salt tour of the North Fork and all the places you can see our work. Wow. That's a tour. That's a tour I would love to go on. That's a good idea. Idea because each one of those projects are definitely um, again signature to what we do and and it's fun because when we when we see pieces raw space and then we take to you know a a, a project and then we we kind of start to tool them we're like wow like, it's just amazing when you see the actual into um, uh, and well and I think I think for people. For people who don't have the vision, like, you know, I, creatives are, are able to walk into Lumber and Salt and see this thing that you found in an old barn somewhere and see how it could be used today. Right. But a lot of people can't do that. So having the opportunity to see you guys and your amazing, brilliant vision take those pieces and bring them into a space that feels relevant today is a great way for people to then go back to Lumber and Salt and go like, okay, now I know how I'm going to use this door, or now I know how I'm going to use this pillar. 100%. I that 100%. Uh, 
Yeah. I want to I want to go back to a second. Wait, I want to go back to a second to I want to go back to Lumbersaw, but at William Reese Gallery, who also happens to be a mom, who has the most amazing gallery in Jamesport. Um, but that barn yeah. and that whole location, is that the address you gave out where this whole thing is today? Can you hear me, guys? Yeah, Sunita, you're you're um, freezing, so I I don't know if we can hear you, but Brooke, I can hear you. Okay, um, yeah, twelve ninety one has become the most unique uh, destination on um, by far, uh, and it's just um, and it's a definite checkout. So uh, in the Mill House in the front, and the William Ross Gallery in the center, and our barn in the back, it's a, a, our off. Is a is a second location. Um, we own the piece of you know own the piece in the back um, of the property. Do you need me? Okay, sorry about that. Uh, the, the barn the barn is um is a special space that we are able to activate um, seasonally when we see fit. Um, and I think there's going to be more to come, but this is going to be the third year of the summer residency for the salting, and they're going to come back in October for a little uh, collection for the fall. So it's, it's amazing. It's, it is really, it feels like, it doesn't even feel like you're, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like anything you've ever been. So it's, you have to check it out. I, I, I'm going to swing by. I'm very excited to see ah, it. I, I, yeah, think I, that, I, I think that's the last thing that broke the camel's back because I was already having FOMO off missing everything. Then I saw your flyer about tonight and I was like, I can't go to that either. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna, we're gonna be open there on um, Saturdays and Sundays, um, summer. Okay. Um, yes, we are we're gonna be also showing um, Sasha Samuel who has done a uh, signature collection for the salting as well, um, as well as Chris Hamilton, who is a uh, North Fork fisherman who um, has been so lovely to uh, collaborate with us because the salting and lumber and salt, our brand ethos are based on salt. So what, what better uh, partner to have with Chris to bring his, you know, his, his artwork in or his photography in um, just to round out the saltiness of it all. Well, that's a, a perfect segue into talking about the North Fork and, and the collaborations. Because even if you watch, you know, the progression of, Lumber and Salt, the main location. Every time I walk in there, there's like something new. I feel like you're uh, you're giving off ABC Carpet and Home vibes now when I walk in there, and I I love like oh what new thing is going to be in here today. So you know you've obviously collaborated with a lot of people, and Sunita mentioned your mom owns the William Reese Gallery. So tell us about your connection to the North Fork. Uh, the connection to the North Fork um, was very. Uh simple and special and a friend of mine was um, coming here, um, to be with someone that she was at the time and uh, and ended up marrying and they're wonderful friends of ours um, and, uh, I was just like I really like it out I've been on the North Fork whatsoever we 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 had more of a um, southern Jersey ties so I never been you know it wasn't my thing um, out here and I felt very myself out here. and then I'm like this not that hard to get here it's just an you know it's an 80 mile you get on the jitney on the upper east side and it drops me games for it um then you know what i, I want to buy something at best and uh so i did 2014 at home and uh i was i was back and forth to the city for all of that time until covid uh, I, was, I was a weekender and uh and 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 my love for the North Fork just was, it just happened. Like it was, it was so there was a lot of like clicks and on, uh, that was checking then. And um, we really felt, you know, we really just loved it out here. And, uh, and I said, you know, every time I would go back and get on the Jitney and go back and get off in Times Square. And I'm just like, wow, I, I can't wait to get back out there. That's and so that was really, I'm, that, that, I'm, I'm happy I'm on vacation, but I can't wait to come back yeah. to the park. 
Okay, can we go back to the to the main location? You talked about how you take some of the things you you find and recreate stuff, but also you have lots of things available for people who are either creative themselves to pick up items or do you also create for individuals that they come in and say they have the space so tell us how the shopping experience at the main store works so you know we have we have clients who are designers we have clients who are do it your um we have also people who are like um on the construction end looking for material um you know, we try to service and help um, as much as we can. Um, you know, we we will all, our number one request is like mantle. <laughs> Everybody wants mantle, I don't, I, but uh, you know, we are a lumber yard. So we have lots of different species of lumber and coffee. And oh, by the way, there's a lot, it's, it's sensory a little bit when you come in, that's really there. Um, but uh, the experience um, overall for the customer is really what they um, we don't push any, don't, um, we really just want to be a source. And we are less about doing, we'll take this piece and make it something. There's other people who do that really well. Uh, it's not, we don't do any refurbishing. Um, we will do it when we do the project, but um, wonderful people out there that do all of that expert stuff. But. Uh, uh, but we'll John John's like a a sketch artist on on on, on the fly. So we can on a on a feeling creative day or a moment or you know, he'll sketch you up something and they'll be like, Oh my god, I can't believe you just did that and they'll like they'll frame something and uh, and, and they actualize it vision was. So, so it's it's fun. We're, we are so after we have um, our, our it's it's just a very uh, unexpected always experience. So, and and also people can come and get a cup of coffee and wander around and look at everything, right? That was a new addition in the last few years. Absolutely. Brought um, that experience in half. Um, we partnered with Brick um, Sourdough and those do uh, Brettana. Um, they do all of our. Uh, while there are um, we also serve road with four um, and Eric's Lane Farm serve their organic organic um, uh, from from her special. And then a newest addition where we're um, serving the gifts of fresh organic juice. So great, and and half, half of it was like I just don't want to have go because I would I don't want to go to South Hole. So I'm like, Paula, can we can we be an outpost here? And she's like, ah. but that's really, really gave a lot of traction because we're bringing all of these um, sort of I, I don't know we're bringing all these great people who do great things together into one hub, um, and you know you can get a cup of coffee, something to eat. And uh, who knows what we're going to do. But it's also, but it's I, also find a place that you run in and grab something and run out, right? Exactly. It's more experience. You, there is so much to wander and see there. You're lingering. So being able to have the coffee and being able to say something as you're, I mean, I'm sure people spend at least more than an hour every visit because you're trying to, you're trying to take it all in. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I'm, people come up with, uh, to, or, or I'm, you know, so so they're poking around the element of the hunt. Oh, they're, they're the hunt for, and that's hard. So it's. <laughs> I feel like <clears throat> anyone who walks in can just feel their creative juices flowing. Oh, Actually, in this conversation, Brooke, I came up with your next business idea, which I'm not going to tell our audience. I'm going to tell you on the side. Oh, I but I, I, I have an idea for you. Okay. And I, I think it would be brilliant. Wait, anyway, I, of course. I have an idea, which I can share. If Tracy, if you and I ever get a studio, right, where we're going to sit down, you know who's doing the backdrop for it. Uh, <laughs> yes. I can't wait for something yes. creative that you guys, it's, it's incredible to me 
how you guys see an old piece of like a hardware counter and then are able to use it as a bar. I mean, it's just incredible how you repurpose and recreate and reimagine. Thank you. Um, Millhouse, uh, you know, we have salvage in the um, from um, and, and it has a gold gill, really super. Um, it's like like where the Beverly Hills Hotel meets Chateau Marmont in the North Fork. It's very, again, it's unexpected, but that bar told us that um, will show stuff. And then, you know, a lot of like landmark uh, heritage in um, space too. And you know, we uh, found all the um, elevator, old the elevator placards. We need the custom uh, mirror from that. And so there's a, there's a, there's a debonairness to that word, but there's, there's something there about how we, uh, applied all of our into this space. And um, and it's it's and it's modern, but a lot of very very rich. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. I am I am going to create the tour. I have some friends that come up from Florida once a year that are big into like design, and I feel like this is something that would be great for them to go to all the different places that you've you've brought in your design and see how you've done it differently and and stayed organic to the spaces. I'm I'm very excited. Thank well, you. And then end the tour at the main lumber and salt location oh, with coffee. And exactly. Music. Imagine. Oh. I love it. Exactly. 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 And it puts well, me in the North scavenger hunt list. Oh, yes. And I, and I just wanted to note one other thing. We're talking about our coffee. So many things, like, real quick. So, um, but even like last week, you know, we collaborated um, just at Chocolate, and they did Ursula. Who is a and did a whole project for us um, is based on lumber. So, we have, uh, so, so we like to mix up the narrative, right? Like walnuts and that's a piece, piece of lumber. I'm, I'm like Ursula, and like that's a chocolate bite. So we have our lumber and salt, with the walnut. Very chocolate. We're going to do the same thing with a cookie. So there's an under salt. And listen, if you weren't, oh, probably not. But I'm telling you, and it's fun to like creative um, nuggets of um, the light on the right. Don't tell me what you want because I'll probably. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, like, no more, bro. <laughs> All right, so let's go into our NoFo Live Five. Brooke, if you were going to take Sunita and I out to lunch or dinner, where would you take us? Um, um, Minnow at the Galley for sure. Um, and I do have to check out the new Legends uh, sushi bar. I've I've been told. Um, and uh, our definitely Eldridge. Eldridge, you know. And okay. I have to say and everybody knows that Lenny's is, is our staple our local staple I, I mean I've seen you there so, <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> it's our local staple yes it is well, exactly. Consider both of you in Jamesport I guess it makes sense I mean if you, if you live in Jamesport you you order from Lenny's multiple times a month so yes yes, yes exactly <laughs> okay Sunrise or sunset? I bet your location is great to capture a sunset right there. Uh, but what do you normally find yourself watching and where? Um, the 1291 property is definitely uh, sunset and uh, sunrise is our backyard. Awesome. Okay. Brewery, winery, cocktail, mocktail. What do you enjoy and where would we see you? Um, I'm going to shout out uh, Maine and Mill House. Uh, for right now, yep. And we need Tracy. We need to make a plan to go there together. Don't go without me. Be oh, right. going, but I hear they have food too. Okay. Oh, and All right. And on that, you know, it's the Mill House. It's the road hill, and then you can the toe, and then you can go back to Maine and Mill House on your way out. 
Well, there you go. Birdie, a little birdie told me they have caviar. Oh. And and tater tots. Oh. So that's what I was going for. Chelsea and Molly and there did an incredible job curating that. It's it's uh it, it is. It's a it's caviar with a cut and in a blanket. Uh, we need to invite Randy on, Tracy. We need to invite Randy on and hear about this vision for all three. Maybe invite his daughters on, whoever. But I yeah. want to hear because it's such an incredible experience that in they're creating and different. Curto is very different from Rose Hill, and I'm sure Maine and Mill has its own vibe and experience. So, yeah, and 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 top notch, premium experience at all three. It's for the best in the business. Um, operational. That's great. So, Brooke, do you hit up any local farm stands regularly? Um, we go to Bayview uh, in Jamesport. We don't get out of Jamesport much. I, I love hearing that. You have no idea how much I love hearing that because as a Jamesporter, I always feel like everyone's always talking about South Hold, and I love South Hold, but some, especially now since I had Tilly, like it's much harder for me to just say, oh, I'll just drive out to South Hold. So thank you for making Jamesport cool. Yes. <laughs> You don't need to come to South Hole. You need to cross your street and go to the farm that I started this morning oh. with. Golden Hill. They are. I, I really, truly enjoyed the farm. And the event that we had, we ended up having it family friendly because it was strawberry picking and just the kids. And I kept thinking about Tilly because obviously you couldn't be there that day. I can just see Tilly running around on that farm picking fresh produce. It is a beautiful farm and it's in Jamesport. <laughs> I know. Well, between that farm and Brooke and Christina at the treatery and like where Jamesport is the is like now the Williamsburg to South Hold. Let's just oh, say I, that. Like claim, you can't claim Christina. Oh, treat oh she Jamesport. Sorry, I was thinking yes, to she say, is. Sorry, yes, she my is. bad. Yes, Christina at the treatery, yes. <laughs> I was like, don't be claiming descent. She belongs yeah. to our side of the yeah. Bronze Park. <laughs> oh, oh, this is so funny. <laughs> well, well, Brooke, if you could sum up in one or two sentences why you love being a part of the North Fork community, tell us how you feel. I, I love J. I, I, I love J. Um, I love the North Fork. I feel most. I feel my most authentic self here. Um, and. And and that's just a feeling and this and and a statement too. Um, and I just love the friendships and the collaborations. I've had the honor and opportunity to cultivate a hands on hands, hands on our backs and hands on uh, you know a lot of backs because you know it's hard to hustle a, a small business. Um, but when you have the passion and the drive and the the laser focus to really what it is that you know will make sense just to keep going and make it happen. I think we've created the lifestyle we wanted to live out here. Um, and, and again, like just organically, not, not, not calculatedly, there, it, it just happened. And um, I can't, can't say enough, like what we do is because we love it. And the, and period, you know, so creatively, yeah. both John and I, and um, you know, we just, do together well well bravo to the collective genius of, of john and you i don't know how you even keep track of the pieces in your store because you probably have a thousand moving parts at any given time. um so you probably don't need to work out because you're just moving all the stuff around <laughs> there you go well thank you for joining us have a great 4th of July, everybody. Well, and also don't forget to stop by at the new location, right? So, Brooke, just tell everybody about the other cool vibe spot on the North Fork, uh, in Jamesport. It's where we can see you today. Uh, yes, um, 12 North Road. Uh, um, home of House, Woods Gallery, and uh, the new um, section tonight of the Sultan uh, from 4 to 7. So, it, it's going to be a fun, it's going to be a fun afternoon and a busy day. So, well, we're looking forward to seeing you. I will certainly stop by and say hi and uh, looking forward to seeing your work. All right. Great. That's Happy it. 4th of July. Tracy and I are taking the next Friday off. So we will see everybody in two weeks. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Brooke. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. Bye.